as Coach Terry Ray joins us now on the show. And, and Coach, uh, tough loss for your team against Jefferson. It was pretty competitive, I guess, early on, but they were able to uh, pull away. And uh, what did you kind of take away from that game on Friday? Uh, we made some. We had stupid mistakes. Uh, we we got penalties when we shouldn't have. It bogged our offense down. Uh, we didn't take advantage of some of the opportunities that were presented to us. Uh, it was a tight game all the way up going in about the fourth quarter, and and then they pulled away from us. And we we played hard through the fourth quarter and made some mistakes, and it, it cost us in the end. Were those mistakes just something that kind of happened within the game that you couldn't really? fix or was it something that like was just little things that continued to build up build up build up to spill over to be the difference uh we kept getting holding penalties here and there when we were getting plays moving the ball downfield uh we had a couple offsides penalties in key moments that ended up extending drives for those guys uh again it's mistakes that we've made several times through the year that we keep trying to harp on the kids uh we need to clean stuff up so obviously there's been a delay to the start of the playoffs and you mentioned trying to clean up those mistakes in some ways could that be beneficial for your team this week to try to work on some things and, and work on yourselves uh yeah i mean it's we're taking it like a bye week now i mean we found out yesterday when we we're in the middle of practice what was going on but uh we're going to continue to practice and prepare for our upcoming playoff game whenever we get to play it how do you keep the kids positive through it uh, with so much being unknown? Well, we're the unknowns. We really don't know the unknown, but we know if one way or the other, we have two ideas of the bracket, the way it's going to fall out. Uh, we have a pretty, like, sure idea that we think we're going to play Woodrow Wilson, so we're going to prepare for Woodrow Wilson. We tell the kids all the time we can only control what's controllable for us. We really don't worry about the uncontrollable, and we'll just see what happens. Coach, overall, though, uh, your team finishes the season seven and three, um, six and four on the field after the the forfeit. But either way, it was a, it was a great season for your program. Um, how would you evaluate this season in your second year? And you achieved, I believe, your goal was at least six wins this year. So you achieved that goal. Uh, we achieved several goals through the regular season, and we saw a lot of growth and a lot of positive uh, stuff happen this year. Uh, the program's going in the right direction. We're trying to get the community behind everything. Uh, we told the kids on Saturday at film that, that we're in uncharted territories for most of the kids on the team because I don't think anybody on our team actually made the playoffs. I think the freshmen were in eighth grade the last time. They went like 5-5 uh, five and five and went into the playoffs. Coach, you mentioned the fact that you guys are uh, more so believing that you will be taking on Woodrow Wilson. Anything behind that as to why uh, you feel that way or the opinion on the situation to make you feel that way? Well, depending on how litigation goes, and I'm not a lawyer nor a judge, but uh, if you look at the rating system before they changed it and then after they changed it, we finished 7 and Woodrow Wilson finished 10. Now, unless something crazy happens through litigation, that's the way it just looks like it's going to fall out one way or the other. All right. All right, Coach. Well, we'll talk to you uh, next week and get your thoughts on Woodrow since we don't know for certain that that will be your opponent. And, of course, uh, Still got to get to the fun question. Yeah, the fun question. Off early. I did forget That's about the most the important question. part. <laughs> I apologize. Your, your guys are fine. <laughs> Colin, go ahead. All right, Coach. Uh, fun question. Do you have any guilty pleasures? If so, what are they? I am going to plead the fifth. Nope. And no, that's we're my not letting answer. this happen. <laughs> uh, I, I okay. My guilty pleasures. Uh, PG, uh, we will say, uh, I, I like to uh, eat chocolate cake. All right. Thank you for keeping it PG. Uh, so <laughs> we appreciate that. Enjoy the chocolate I cake this week. Guys. Yes, I, I, I'll indulge in chocolate cake. There you go. Chocolate cake's good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Coach. No problem, guys. Have a great day. Coach Terry Ray.